Hello Aquarius and thank you so much for joining me for the November of 2021 Tarot Scope with Animal Totem. This is Vicki Verley, the Rock and Roll Prophetess. Today we're going to be using the Rock and Roll Tarot deck for the main portion of the reading, followed by an Animal Totem card from the Beast Mistress Animal Oracle cards. If you're a Patreon Level 2 subscriber, we're going to pull some four additional cards from the Hobbit Tarot by, uh, does it, well, yes, it says up here, uh, Peter... Well, you can look it up. It's hard to read. Sorry, I don't have my stronger glasses on right now. Okay, so I'm going to switch it up a little bit because I realized, by the way, I put out the year ahead readings. Um, the, there, I've made general year ahead readings in the format that I do the personal year ahead readings. So if you want to check out those, they're $5 and some change to kind of get an idea of how the, the real ones go. And I realized that when I do these readings, I, you know, I don't do them in the way that I do a, a personal reading at all. So I really should be doing it more in the way that I do a personal reading. Uh, you guys can tell me if you like this or not, but this is how I do a personal reading. Um, now, I started the whole thing of the tarot on YouTube, if you're not aware, and I started laying them out in rows, and pretty much all the readers do that now, <laughs> still, they all lay them out in rows. But when I do a personal reading, I start with a Celtic cross, and then I go around and I try to find you in the spread. So you are an air sign, so we're going to look for the king or the queen of swords. At, you'll, see, you'll see how it goes. But let's go ahead, what is going on for our Aquarian friends? For the month of November of 2021. This is for Aquarius Sun sign, Aquarius Rising sign, and Aquarius Moon sign. And anybody with predominant Aquarius placements in your chart, really. Okay, so here we go. We've got the Seven of Rods, the Moon. By the way, there is going to be a full moon eclipse this month. That's There you are, but we'll find you again. So don't worry about that. Uh, we're, uh, there's going to be a full moon eclipse on the 19th in the, the sign of Taurus. So it's going to be a time of release, culmination, and releasing. Okay, so let's look at this first, and then we're going to get dive, do a little dive deeper, and we'll find you. Because you're in here now, but we'll look for the king. Okay, so yeah, there's been stress. There's absolutely been some stress going on here. And I, when I saw this moon, it automatically reminded me of, yeah, there's that eclipse coming up. And I do feel like, I want to put, the, well, I can't because I'm going to be using the cards over there. Never mind. Uh, I do feel like that eclipse, well, the eclipse is going to be impactful for everybody, but I do feel like that's what this card was signifying. You know, when the eclipse comes through here by the 19th, a lot of stuff is going to be, uh, move away from you. There was a time when you really felt empowered and you really felt strong, but lately it feels like things are kind of building up here and getting, you know, there's a lot of tension and it even shows in the final outcome card of being, having tension, particularly about some money issues. Um, there's a change. You, you want to get back to this time. You want to go back and you want to go back to the time when you were empowered and when you felt like the magician and when you felt really strong. And that's going to require you making some changes here. The Four of Rods is the basis of the situation. You need to change your foundation. You need to change your home environment. You need to change your work environment in order to get back to that place. You have to make it more of a place of harmony. And that may require you moving on. You know, that might require you moving on and moving out, moving up, moving out. You know, that may be the thing. We're looking at the time of fire for this because, and also we do have a lot of fire energy in the spread. But it looks like the news is coming in fire. So we are moving in from Scorpio and we're going to move into Sagittarius. And that's going to be around the 21st. So like after the 21st, you could really start seeing some things happening. Um, you're really focused on it, you're looking at it, you know, and you're not sure. You, I feel like what stands out to me the strongest on this card is the swords up, you know. It's just like, you've got your sword up, like you're like, well, I'm going to have to do battle, or I'm ready to do battle, or something. All right, now I'm going to keep rolling, and we're going to look for the king of swords. And it came out right away again, look at that. So I'm going to go put some more rows below the king of swords. I'm putting everything in the upright for now, too. And we can interpret them which way, which way or the other. Okay. You know, it's funny because this, these two cards were in another, the other spread that I just did. Tower is that full moon of releasing, of letting go of things from the past, of not being present in the present moment. Because often when tower occurs, it, bam, it snaps you. It calls you right back into the present moment and makes you really aware of what's going on right here in the present moment. Here you are. Here's the King of Swords, so that is you. There's a decision that has to be made. And you're with this King of Cups here. Now, 
there's no gender in these readings because it's not a personal reading. So these could be male, female, whoever. So it's you and another water sign potentially person. Water sign is Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Because they're both showing up as kings, you both have, um, you know, you're on equal ground. You're, you both have this level of mastery. You both have this, you know, one's not above the other. You're both at the same tier of seniority or experience or knowledge. And you, you know, you're, you're shoulder to shoulder here is what I'm getting about it. Um, there's a decision that's going to be made, and I feel like you're better together. That's what comes through. I mean, for some of you, maybe it is a love relationship because there's definitely the Ace of Cups is down here. So it could be, you know, you're better off, you're better together. It doesn't mean you're better together necessarily like getting back with somebody who's negative. It's just like you're better in you're better in a team, you're better in a partnership. You can make more leeway or headway in a partnership, especially with this uh, King of Cups energy. The King of Cups might be more spiritual, creative, along those lines. It does look like ships are coming in, and then you have the Star card over here, which is spirits, angels, raining down blessings upon you. Whatever this upheaval is, or this turnabout, or this big thing that may show up potentially around that eclipse time of the 19th it's clearing the way star is on board with it not only do you have star you have um the judgment card which has angelic this is also a major thing of higher forces guiding you and being led down your karmic path and then the wheel of fortune you know being on you know in sync with everything comes in its right time and aligning with your your path your soul's path again and but you know you're on guard about it. You're worried. This is definitely you've got some worry and stress about it. You've got some worry and stress about it based on past stuff over here that's no longer relevant. You know, this is going to be really snapping you back into the present moment, which is also very much a thing of the magician. You know, so the magician is right in the moment, right here and now, and you've been that. You've had that, and you've been that in the past, so it's time to kind of bring that back in and recapture it. It's also big time being empowered, you know, big time you're empowered and you're strong. All right, I'm going to shuffle up the Animal Totem card for everybody. Real quickly, again, I am offering the year, personal year ahead, my most popular reading. Uh, that's available until the end of the year only. And I also put up for all 12 signs kind of a general year ahead. So you can just kind of get a taste of what it's like to get the other reading. You know, it's, it's in the same format and everything. And, you know, check that out also if you're interested. That's for like a, a small fee of $5 and some change. Okay, so let's go ahead and get the animal tone for our Aquarius friends for the month of November 2021. The B. The B is all about being busy. But it's also sexual, you know, it's pollinating and the flowers and the birds and the bees, you know, there's definitely sexual energy to connected to that bee. Fertility, abundance, creativity, propagation, strong connections to home and family, accomplishing tasks in a timely manner, taking time to taste the sweet nectar of life. Yeah, well, you're going to be tasting that sweet nectar of life, especially with this Ace of Cups there. Or maybe that's what, you know, it could be like all work and no play. It's time to like, well, let's put this down for a minute and let's poke, feel, and I feel like I want to say feel good. I'm hearing that Joni Mitchell. Didn't it feel good? Didn't it feel good? I'm way out of key. Didn't it feel good? Didn't it feel good? I'm still out of key. <laughs> da, 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 da. Help me. Help me. I think I'm falling in love again. Uh-oh. So some Aquariuses are going to be falling in love again. I'm putting that as your headline right now. <laughs> falling in love again. Because it came, it, the guides came through again with that, you're better off together, quote, you know. Hey, everybody. So this is the main reading. I want to thank everybody for liking and subscribing. And if you're starting your holiday shopping, don't forget about independent creators like myself. I mean, everybody's worried about their cargo ships on the bay. Well, independent creators are right here, and they were creating. Here's a few of the things, my journals that I create. I have all sorts of other things on my website that you can check out. And don't forget also about my Transmissions book too. If you're interested in the year ahead readings, that's again the most popular. That will only be available to the end of the year. So if you want to get that for yourself as a personal reading, 
that information is on my reading page on my website, but also I've again added these other where you can, it's like a pay-per-view for $5 and some change, and you can see the whole format. And I do go into quite a bit, including some astrology for the upcoming year. So if you think that might interest you, you can check the links below. Otherwise, it, there's going to be this full moon eclipse. It's going to be a big turnabout and upheaval and shake a lot of people up, but you're up for it. If you're a Patreon level two supporter, there's going to be we're going to put four cards around uh, from the Hobbit deck. We're going to put four more cards around you for some clarifiers. So if you want to find out about that, you can also find that in the link below. And I want to thank everybody for all your support, for liking and sharing and commenting. Please do hit that subscribe button to let YouTube know that you do enjoy my content. Remember that you are love and beauty incarnate and have the best ever. November, and here we come, here, clip season, here we come. Okay, everybody, we'll see you again next time. Bye.